A verdict this morning in a shooting that inflamed worldwide anger over the war in Iraq. Blackwater security guards shot more than 30 unarmed Iraqis in Baghdad in 2007. More than a dozen of them died. On Wednesday, a federal jury in Washington convicted four of those Blackwater guards. Clarissa Ward is here. She's been to Iraq more than a dozen times. Clarissa, good morning. Good morning. Well, only one of the four guards, Nicholas Slatton, was convicted of murder. He could be sentenced to life in prison. The other three face up to 30 years each on manslaughter and weapons charges. No date has yet been set for sentencing. 16th of September 2007, a convoy of American contractors from Blackwater Security opened fire on a line of cars at a bustling Baghdad intersection. Over 30 Iraqi civilians were shot. 17 died in the assault that witnesses say lasted 20 minutes. The contractors claimed they were fired upon first, but witness after witness came forward to say the Americans shot the Iraqis entirely unprovoked. Following the 2003 U.S.-led invasion, hundreds of Blackwater security contractors were employed to guard vulnerable diplomats in a politically volatile Iraq. But undisciplined behavior and a string of accusations implicating them in attacks on Iraqi civilians there you go, there you go. gave Blackwater the reputation of trigger-happy mercenaries who saw themselves as above the law. Nine-year-old Ali Mohammed was the youngest victim that day. Hassan Jabber, an Iraqi lawyer, survived the attack, but only just. One of the bullets passed right through him. The shootings were seen as a turning point in U.S.-Iraqi relations and sparked a series of anti-American demonstrations. In the years that followed, the U.S. government paid compensation to the families of victims, and Blackwater lost their lucrative contract with the State Department. The shooting placed enormous tensions on U.S.-Iraqi relations, but American officials throughout pleaded with their Iraqi counterparts to have faith in the judicial process. So these guilty verdicts will be seen as a diplomatic victory for the U.S., even though the trial took seven years. I know. And, and are the Iraqis reacting at all? Well, it's interesting. On social media, we're not seeing a lot of reaction from Iraqis. And from people there who I've spoken to, there's a sense that the security situation is now so bad, right. they're so focused on ISIS, they're too worried about the future to be thinking about the past anymore. Thanks, Clarissa. Good to see you.